Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the LEGO 3D models into Unreal Engine 5 Preview. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. You have to download the LeoCAD. Download from the download link here. Download the LeoCAD and, and then you have to install the LeoCAD in your computer. This is Windows 10. After you install the LeoCAD, you will have the, the LeoCAD in your computer and it is a, a LEGO editor where you can just edit any of the 3D models of LEGO here. Next, you can just go and click more LEGO 3D models to download. This, this is another link. Click into the second link. <coughs> then you should be able to find a lot of 3D models of Lego. For example, if I click this, the railroad club car. This is one of one of the model for any of for any of the 3D model. You can just go and download it. Let's say if I want to have this, I just need to click download. And then it is going to download it into your download folder. You show in folder, you can see this is an MPD file. So next, you have to open the LeoCAD. As demo, I will just reopen everything. This one, I don't save it. And I open the LeoCAD. <coughs> and then you can just drag in any of the MPD file. It will load the model. You can see this is the Lego 3D model. It can be any of the of the MPD file. For example, just now the, the pizza to go, if I drag in, this is another model in MPD file. And then you can edit it again and add in more features here for any of, of the 3D model. You can rotate, you can move the location to any of the location that you want to create a model. <coughs> right, this is just an example. Next, once you, you're done already, you are going to import into your Unreal Engine 5 preview. This is your Unreal Engine, but I know yet open it. You need to go through two process. First, you have to export it as OBJ. So now I close this, I close this as well. Close anything that unnecessary. <coughs> First, I will save this as a backup file. I put file, save as. I will save it on my desktop. This is another MPD file. <coughs> now, next time you still can re-edit it again. Next, you have to export it as, as OBJ. Click File, Export, Export as Wavefront. And then, I export it on my desktop, pizza to go OBJ. <coughs> Next, you need to use the Blender. You can scroll down, go to my video description, go and download the Blender. You need the Blender to convert to convert the OBJ into FBX file. So now I already installed the Blender in my computer. I open the Blender. <coughs> Next, delete everything in Blender. Press delete button to delete it. Next, import the OBJ file. It is here. Click file, import the wavefront OBJ. Now the OBJ file is on my desktop, here. Now you can see it is already imported here. So next step, have to click on that. The rotation, you have to reset it to zero so that it is, it is in scale. <coughs> click here to turn on the texture. Just now it's at here. 
So next, what you're going to do is the scale, you have to reset it, become 0 0.01, because it is too big already, 0 0.01, and here, 0 0.01. Actually, it is. it should be at this size. Next. Once done already, you click on that, Control A, or Transform. <coughs> Alright, final step, you have to export it as FBX file. Click File, Export, FBX. Here. Export it on my desktop as demo. Model, 01. The FBX file, path mode, you have to choose Copy. And here you have to highlight it so that it will embed it or the texture. Click Export it, Export FBX. It will be here. If you double click it, You can see, actually, it, actually it will open just by using the Microsoft Windows 10 3D Viewer. Everything looks perfect. Next, you are going to import it into your Unreal Engine. Your Unreal Engine 5 preview version. I can close the Blender. <coughs> I can close my Vilcat also. Next, I'm going to launch my Unreal Engine 5 preview. I open my Epic Game Launcher. It will be there. If you don't know how to <coughs> how to install it, then you have to install the Epic Game Launcher and, and install the Unreal Engine 5. Now I'm going to go to the library Unreal Engine. This is the Unreal Engine 5. I can launch launch from here as well. I don't want to update, I just launch it. So I will start from, from beginning in Unreal Engine 5 preview and show you how to import the LEGO 3D models FBS file there and set the correct collision. Use the accurate collision so that the player can interact with the LEGO model. Alright now, this is the Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to create a new game. As demo, I will just create a third person game and I will name this project as Demo03. <coughs> Demo04. Create. Alright, now, you can see this is the third-person game template. If you click to start play, you can see this is the, <coughs> the female mannequin in Unreal Engine 5 preview. Alright, so we are going to put the model into here. So you can see I have the content browser. By default, you know, don't have, you have to go to the window. If this one, you accidentally closed it, then you are going to click window, the content browser, content browser 1 to call it out. It will be here. Next, you click the content, this is the main folder. Next. You have to create a new folder here. Right click new folder. I will just name this as Lego model. Alright, Lego model, I will just create a new folder here, model 01, double click in, next, I'm going to drag in the FBX file here, model 01, drag in, and here, just click import all, and wait for a while, now it is importing, and once it finished imported, the message log here, you can just close it. Now it is preparing the shader, you have to wait until it finish. And try to find out which one is your model, this one. 
This is the static mesh. Now we focus on Unreal Engine here. Where is the static mesh? It is here, model 01. If you drag it out, you can see the model is here. Push it up, up a little bit. All right, now, if you try to play, you can see all this Lego 3D model already inside here, but it don't have a, a very accurate collision. So now, next, you have to double click in to set the collision. Drag here down, under the collision setting here, the complex collision setting, the collision complexity you have to choose use complex collision as well as simple sorry next you have to save it and close now once you play all the collision will be very accurate and you can stand on that you can see it have a, a very accurate collision here all right so now all of these are, are in a very accurate collision complex collision and now you can just use all these 3D models in your game, in your Unreal Engine game project, Unreal Engine 5 preview version. All right. That's all for today about how to import the LEGO 3D model into your Unreal Engine 5 preview and make it become, become a game models with accurate collisions to, to interact with any of the player. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time, when I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.